Okay, so that did not work loading on the phone because it said this was not the right device. So if we go to our board config.make and we add this target OTA assert device, then we can say, hey, here's the devices we want to be able to flash this on. So the problem was the capital letters in the device. So remember not to have any spaces in here, just commas between the different ones that you want to be able to flash this on. And you can use this for multiple variants of the same phone or device. Uh, that works really well. So uh, we'll save that. Um, we'll uh, um, upload that. Uh, let's see, here we go. We'll upload that and uh, get that uh, pushed and rebuild what we've got so we can uh, flash this on here. Now we could break down the um, break down the zip and go to the make files and, and go ahead and change the uh, files to allow it to flash on any device. We've done that before, but we want to fix this right and we want to have this ready for next time. So edited board config to add OTA target, get push. So we'll just push this up here and uh, then we're going to repo sync and run the build again. And just cut through uh, the repo syncing there to save you from having to watch that all over again. And there we go, cut through having it build again. It took about 17 minutes. And so now the file name is the same because we're building it on the same day. Um, so we'll have to change something on this one, this new one, to make sure it doesn't conflict with the old one. We could just delete it and put this on here. I, I kind of like to have a little bit of track record of what we're doing. So we'll capitalize this one because that was the problem is we needed to have uh, capital letters in the uh, in the target asset. Changing the capital letters on here makes absolutely no difference. Just the file name. The file name could be called, you know, Duffy's Tavern or whatever. 